I've used many other RIPs before on the market, and AccuRip is by far the easiest to install and use. Basically, the RIP function is very simple. You just simply choose what kind of printer you have. AccuRip works with a variety of Epson printers. The Epson 1400, 1900, and the Epson 4080 are by far the most popular. I'm typically going to print with the Epson 1400. There is an AccuRip EX version for the larger format Epson printers like the 7080, the 7900, the 9880, and the 99. Then you just simply choose your media size. If you're using a roll printer like the Epson 4880, you can select your roll width, or if you're using a sheet printer like the Epson 1400, select your sheet size. This can also be selected in your print preferences menu. Next, let's choose our ink options. If you notice, we have multi-black mode. Multi-black mode pulls ink from all the channels, not just black. What does that do for you? Well, instead of pulling from one channel, you're pulling from six channels or eight channels in the Epson 4880. This means that you're putting that much more ink down. You print at a lower resolution, which means your printer will print faster, but still maintain a dark and opaque image. Also, you never have to replace color cartridges. So not only do you print faster, print a darker image, but it saves you money without any color cartridge replacement. Your print resolution basically dictates how fast your printer prints and how much ink it lays down. The higher the resolution, the slower it prints, the more ink it lays down. With the Black Max 1400 and all black ink settings, we can select 1440 by 720 and it works great. Notice I'm also selecting standard ink and medium ink. Why would you need more ink? Typically, you'd only need more ink if you're only using one cartridge of ink. Bidirectional will print a little bit faster, but we typically don't recommend printing bidirectional. Then all you do is select the type of printer that you have and select how it's connected. So if I'm printing with my Epson 4880, I'm going to select my Epson 4880 stylus driver. And all you have to do after that is tell it how you'd like to be screened. The shape of the dot, typically it's either going to be a round or a lip dot. The angle of the dot, that's how the dots stack on top of each other. AccuRip is defaulted with 22.5. This will pretty much work for everything, including four color process and simulated process, so you never even have to change this. Some people prefer to use a 61 degree angle, but typically 22.5 works great. Frequency or LPI. This is how many lines of half tones you're printing per inch. What we recommend doing is selecting a couple different settings. Typically we're going to use 35, 45, and 55 line halftones. 35 for your little bit more block designs on lower mesh, 45 for simulated process, and 55 for four color process. An easy way to tell how big your dots are is come into Accurate, set the frequency, and then come over here and do a test print. That will print a simple test page. You can mark the size of the LPI that you printed, and that way you can use that for future comparison. Here's a scanned example of an AccuRip test file. This was printed in 55 line halftone, 22.5 degrees. So this would be the size of halftone you use for four color process. AccuRip is the new rip and halftone solution. Not only is it easy to use, but we also support it hands down. We have free dual tech support, both from Ryanet on the west coast and freehand graphics on the east coast, the manufacturers of AccuRip. We have techs available 12 hours a day to support AccuRip and even have the capabilities to log into your computer and fix issues for you live. Check out a free 14-day trial of AccuRip at SilkScreenSupplies.com and see why everyone prefers AccuRip as their screen printing halftone solution.